smoke. Get a uh, Bad television. All right, shalom. 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 First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. Okay, the name of the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is Yahweh, Bahashem, in the name of Yahweh Shai, the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ by Hashem in the name of Rahakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit. All right. And we've been uh ordained in these latter days, okay, to awaken, you know, um, call on the name of Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai, so that we can be delivered, all right, because that's the prophecy. All right, that chosen lineage after they have went through all of these various different captivities, you know, falling away, becoming Gentiles, you know, there's a promise. That, you know, the, 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 the promise that was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob of, you know, this particular landmass ruling out of it. And ultimately under Yahweh Shah, the whole earth, okay, uh, to govern it in righteousness, man. All right. And we're heirs to that promise. All right. If this is true and what we're reading is true, we believe it. All right. Wholeheartedly. All right. So, uh, you know, we're gathered here today, uh, as your uh, brothers and sisters may know. Heavy judgment just hit, you know, uh, like the brothers say, a whole left side of, of the, whole, the whole left side of the map <laughs> was pretty much uh, uh, hit with a plague of ice, and that's one of that that's that's one of the judgments of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. All right, people think a lot of people think about you know uh, people burning to death, but what about you know freezing? You know that actually burns. You know when you freeze it, yep. that actually burns. Man, that's a freeze hard tor yep. torture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have people out here freezing to death. All right, you got various judgments going on all around the planet Earth, man. And these are the things we've been speaking of, okay? So we're in those times, man. According to the Holy Scriptures, the Heavenly Father, one of the, the signs of the end would be, you know, wars, rumors of wars, people losing their damn mind, plagues. Because the prophets are speaking the plagues, just like Moses and Aaron in Egypt. They were speaking plagues onto the place, well, so are we. You see? We're speaking the plagues into existence. The words of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai, man. So, what we what we gonna start with? Second verse nine. Yep. Mm -hmm. Another part. Another, another thing is the our uh, the the rise of Israel synonymous with the fall of Esau Edom. Kind. They go hand in hand. That's right. Israel waking up in that final captivity, which would be through the Edomite. Okay, uh, uh, in that spiritual Sodom and Egypt, the Lord would send the Spirit in a place where it was said, "You are not the children of the heavenly Father." There, so if he says, you're the sons of the living power, man. That's right. Go ahead. Okay. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, and verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right, measure the time. you got to be watching. And the mass majority of our people are in a delusion, following, wandering after the beast. And the beast is leading you. He's felling you. This man is felling you all, man. Mm -hmm. You that trust and oppression, you, you, he's making a fool out of you. Biden, he's got an office and totally undermines you, and, and you see what he's doing. Remember the student loan? I'm going to forgive student loan. Now he's kind of like reneging on it. Reneging. Yeah, reneging, you know? So, Jay, you, you Israelites have been left out to dry all over again. Give him time. It's always give him time. Then four years later, it's the next nigga. Give him time for his promise to come into like fruition. Right, but you don't give up. <laughs> give the prophets time. Right. You see, I'm you niggas, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. But you, you, you've been failed by these these Edomites who get in office, put on the suit, and just stand before you and mock you. And then when it comes time for the get down, you lose. The only thing that's coming through on the promise is Yahweh about Shmi Al Shai. It's truth, that's man. It, bro. <laughs> so we got to measure the time diligently, man. Go ahead. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is right. the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which right. he made. At the end it shall speak. Right. And Habakkuk, what does it say? At the end, these things are going to be, you know, make it plain upon tables. Yeah. 
that he that read it that made the run that, that's us. Right, right, right. That's speaking of the prophets coming to understanding in the latter days. And when they read it, they can run to the highways and the byways and say, this is about to happen. This is right. what this means. You know? Shaking a hand at the gates yeah, of the shaking nobles. Shaking a hand at the gates of the nobles, man. Yeah. Literally speaking an end into existence. That's the job of the prophet. Exactly. That's the right. job of the prophet was to come onto the earth in whatever rulership the Heavenly Father had set up. The Heavenly Father set up all of the heathen rulers as well. Oh, God. And he would send a prophet to tell that particular nation, you're going down. <laughs> and to tell the people of Yahshua Allah to come back to the Lord. God. You see? Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, the routine has always been the same. Yep. You know? Yep. Yep. But uh, back in 2nd Ezra 9 and 3, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Man, earthquakes have been on the rise, man. Yep. I mean, when you look at earthquakes over the last 10 years, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. All over the earth, man. Non-stop. Now, a lot of them are set up by who? Esau. But you got to think, Esau is the sword. A lot of the judgment that's even happening to America, it's the elites. It's the elites with their little pseudo little uh, miracle on the left-hand side, modifying the weather, you know, messing up, uh, putting a uh, uh, plague in the foods, making a uh, particular, if you look, what's happening on the earth right now? They're, they're getting ready to get rid of natural foods. It's happening right under your, your nose. They're getting ready to say, that, that chicken and cattle and all of these things, they're the cause of sickness in the earth. And they're coming with a whole new meat, a whole new, it's going to be a, when they talk about a reset, <laughs> it's going to, they talk everything. about it, everything. You see? So, go ahead. Come. Verse 3 again, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, mm. even from the beginning. Right. These things have been, hey, even Enoch prophesied of this. You know? There's some more. Come I mean, we can keep yeah, going. Keep going. Keep going. It says, for like is all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, right. and the end is manifest. And the end is manifest. Right. Can you want to say something else? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to get a scripture, actually. Yeah. It's definitely manifest. If, there, if, you, if you if we don't if you can't see that damn because right after the virus now this you got you got, you got the the running of the capital right what else came in this year so it's only it's February it's, it's, it's like it's March or April and yeah. things that are already happened before like man it's like yeah. December like we yeah. a lot has happened in a short time man. right it's, it's not days. stop it won't stop right the Lord is speeding up the days for the elect's sake too yeah, like it right. talks about in Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. Right. Because yeah. the end is coming, man, like right. we just read. Right. That, I want to get a precept the back what you yeah. just read. Right. Break it down. It's not that the last, like, three years or so. The huh. beginning of a so-called new year. Right. It's just happening. And things just yeah. pop off. It's steam, bro. Because really, that's when we went into the COVID situation after the Passover. Right. It seems like right when the Lord allowed us to have our Passover after that, the domino chips just yeah. all fell right. at that point. Yeah. COVID fell. Everything yeah. shut down. Kobe died. Kobe died. <laughs> well, that was like in the beginning. Right, I'm saying. right. But after that nigga but after died. That, yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah. After he died, man, right, that, yeah. that actually set a lot of domino yeah, yeah, pieces. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Hell of slurs been dying nonstop. Man. What's yeah. Yeah. There's all types. There's a lot of sacrifices going on. Everybody. On died. the left-hand side. A lot of people. Uh, you had uh, Nicki Minaj, father died. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Jeezy's mother died. This one rapper. Oh, yeah. His two grandparents well, got Nicky shot up and Nicky. burned. Nigga, that could have been a sacrifice. Who's that baseball player named really? Oliver? Oh, that oh, yeah. took Pink Aaron. Pink Aaron. He yeah. Died. There's a lot of wicked things going on in the earth, man. There's a lot of enchantments going out. Because the elite, pretty much, they they gotta hurry up. Right. So they gotta do more sac. Because Satan is requiring right. people on the left hand to take a bold stance in what they believe in, and the the Most High through His Son is requiring the people on the right hand. To take a bold stance of what they believe in, and you who are all in that gray area, you're going to be exposed in that process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You see? Because yeah, the bottom line is going to be you. What do you believe in? What are you about? If you truly believe in the spirit, if you truly believe in the doctrine, man. There's a spirit you should be in, man. That's right. And if you don't subscribe to this doctrine, you're yeah. through, man. You're through. This is the yeah. only thing that's going to bring you salvation, man. Right, right, right. right. You got that's to right. believe, and then to you believers out there on the other side that's believing. That's to y'all too. It speaks about that in John, man. So you believers out there as well, hey man, we all gotta lock in, bro. Right. We all got to lock right. in, man. Right. Right. Hey, hey we in those times, man. That's right. right. It's, it's, it's all right. We're in the end times. We're in the latter days, baby. When the gospel shall be preached yep. around the world, 
then shall the end come. Right. Because we've been saying it, now right. it's happening. Now it's happening. It's like, damn. Yep, yep. It's like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's yeah. really, we here. You but can't we simulate good. reality like right. what was to come, really. Right. You just right. got to go through that zone. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead. But it's a beautiful time. We're in the end. I want to back what he read in 2nd Ezra 9. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. It says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Right. Mm -hmm. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. So better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, you know? Right, right. Uh, second, as we talk about uh, Esau being the end of the world. Let's get that. Yeah, matter of fact, yeah. That. That, that's, that's right that's on the, the money. That's the, the perfect. Start at like seven, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's you right. Because kind of this is the time to rejoice. Hey, the Lord said, hey, when you see these things, man, lift up your head, man. Mm -hmm. Although we may be yeah, catching right, hell, yeah. certain brothers are catching hell. You know, certain things happening. But, man, we got a lot to rejoice about, man. Gosh, right. Right. And what is a nigga doing? He, a nigga wants to save the heathen. All of this is happening. We about to get the promise. And a nigga is worried about the heathen. The heathen getting ready to set up a damn futuristic weirdo society, man. Right. The heathen ain't worried about you. Transformers going to be ruling the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Weirdo shit, man. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, Real yeah, transformers. You got to put it out there that right, way. Right, right, right. Go ahead. I was going to say, it's like the Apostle Paul spoke of, you know, we, we glory in tribulations also, man. Right. Especially in these times that we're coming into. Right. We know with the time speeding up, with everything, you know, 2020 was really like that warning gunshot. Right. Man, you know, but now, right. you know, the, the, the barrel's been loaded right. back up. Right. You know, he, he, it's about to get real out here, right. man. But our right. people are not taking heed to it right. for the majority, all right? Right. But right. this is um, Second Edger 6 and uh, 7. It says, Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the time? That's the spirit you gotta be in. When is this gonna be over with? Hey, Apostle Hart, right. 2021, right. hasten the hasten, return hasten of our Lord. Right. 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 We want this thing to come speedily, That's man. It. That's right. it, man. You know? Because uh, Vocab Malone, he said, we're not at all worried about eschatology or you. Know, this, he this not. That. Well, you <laughs> not. Yeah. You're not. Yeah. But Ezra's was. Exactly. He was like, when is this gonna be yeah. over with? Yeah. Shit. Kind of. That's how we are. Go That's ahead. Right. That's right. It says, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Woo. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Which was a sign. Right. 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 In your heel. When somebody is in your heel, like they own to you. And the scriptures say, uh, ultimately, uh, Yahweh Shai, through Judah, the hands will be in the neck of the enemy, man. So we're like a thorn to you in your side, man. Right. For your rulership, the Lord raised us up in your rulership. Mm. He, he basically he did the no look pass, and Esau because you can't see it. It wasn't nothing that came in the news and said, "Well, the Spirit is coming. The Holy Spirit is coming." <laughs> you know, the Lord literally through a process. Yeah. You know, on the earth, you know, the, the people were teaching the Torah, and you had Abba Bivens who preached Yahweh Shai. From that point, this word has just grown in the planet Earth, man. That's right. <laughs> right. So it's a thorn in his side, man. That's that's our hand being on his heel. Gotcha. Right. Got your ass. Mm -hmm. Because he's a fugitive. So we're like, you know what I'm saying? He just as he's at the getting ready to get the touchdown, we get that heel. He, right. You know what I'm saying? We're faithful witnesses yeah. Yeah. Yep. that are confessing. Yep. 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 We're about yep. the testimony of the Lord. Right. Right. Which right. the testimony of our Lord and Savior, right. what is the spirit of prophecy? That's right. right. Which prophecy condemns Esau, you right, know, man. Right, right. That shows that this Bible wasn't made by him, bro. Right. You know, right, but, you right. know, you can continue right. on. Verse 9, it says, uh, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Woo! You know? Why would the, how could the so-called white man have wrote that? Right. If he wrote the Bible. Right. It condemns him, man. Right. Esau is the end of the this current world, and Jacob is the beginning right. of that which followed. The right. kingdom of heaven is going to play out on earth, man. That's it. That's why it's important right. that we get to the end of this current uh, right. rulership, man. Right. Right. We want it to come right. sooner than later, man. Right. You know? Yep. Yep. And that's the throne of David. Let's get that. Luke uh, 1 and uh, 31. Because everybody's talking about heaven. Everybody's talking about this. Everybody, But nobody's right. talking about the throne of David, man. Right, right, right. Man. And that's ultimately what was getting ready to happen, man. The Lord's getting ready to... What you're seeing is ultimately the pains of what comes with transferring rulership. Right. And this is the greatest rulership that the earth has ever seen. Man. This is the this is Esau's world. You got to think. Isaac blessed this man. Yep. He was blessed just like through... through Cain had an uh, inheritance on the left-hand side. He had the sword, you know. 
So you got the 12 tribes of Israel, right. you got the 12 dukes of Edom. Right, you had Edomites. <laughs> they got their blessing, man. They got the yeah. fatness of the earth, the control of the resources, but they've used it to do evil, man. Right. To get back at Jacob behind that birthright. It's all spiritual. Right. Man. It's all right. spiritual. That's, that, that's your fault, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you did it. You sold your soul. You was hungry. Esau's the first sellout. Right. Really? Think about it. He sold his soul and for a bowl of lentils, man. And now you back in 2021 with, with, with hair on your back and with a suit on. You now you got lentils in your back teeth and you hurt. <laughs> you hurt. You're mad because the Lord, hey, what's that? He set us in order before their eyes. Go ahead. Uh, in Luke. Which well, one? We got it. The first one. 1 and 31. But okay. then let's get that. Uh, I got it. What's that song yeah. where it says, I will set thee, them in order before thy eyes? Psalm 55. Luke, he said, let's start it. Luke 31 and Luke, Luke 1 and 31. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Yahweh Shai. Right. Verse 32. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. Right. And the Lord power shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Woo! Damn. Go ahead. <laughs> like it was prophesied in Samuel. Right. Right, 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 <laughs> yep. right. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 33. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. New Testament. He gonna reign over the house of Jacob forever, man. Over Israel, which is ultimately that's the house of David. That's right. That's right. That government is getting ready to be set up, man. Right, it's getting raised back up through the yeah. spirit right now through this word. That's right. Out, you know. Right, and it seems insignificant, but that's how the heavenly Father wanted it. Right. Those you know kingdoms. the base things of the world. Yep. Because the world look at us is base things. Yeah. yeah. Out of these guys, especially with the apostles yeah. and the elders. You right. Know, you know. Right. And it's supposed to be that way. Yeah. That's the power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. When you're looking for the throne of David being reestablished, you're not looking at no big glorious building. You're looking at a bunch of men who in the spirit are fervent. Right. The third temple, that's a spiritual third temple. temple. Yeah. That's a spiritual temple, man. Right, right. right. Are these say King David was in debt one time or something? He was in debt? Uh, 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 we can uh, get it. I'll get it. Not, uh, We're talking about his men who followed him. I got priests up too. First king or something. Yeah, I got no more. Go ahead, though. Is there more? Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it. Okay. This is uh, Amos 9 and 11. It says, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, right. and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. Right, I will build it as in the days of old. Now, when you look at David's mighty man, let me see if I can find it real quick. And that's David. talking about both kingdoms, too. Right. The, right. North, the northern and the southern kingdom, because after Solomon, that's when the kingdom split, man. Right. But we're being brought back together through this word, man. Right. That's the third temple. Right. The tabernacle of David is being reestablished, right. you know? Right. And it's going to further manifest itself in the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be played out on earth, man. Right, man. You know? Right. Now, when you read uh, the book of Acts, remember uh, when, they, when they, came, they came to the point of like when the Gentiles was the fulfillment, they're like, damn, this is the fulfillment of the, you know, the tabernacle of David. Now, though that wasn't the fulfillment, mm -hmm. it's happening now. It's the Gentiles right, kind. who will receive the mercies of David. Man. Now, one thing about the tabernacle of one of David's mighty men, I'm going to bring this out. This is 2 Samuel because we know we've been scattered. Oh, you got it. Okay. You yeah. got it. Okay, come. Right. But there's there's another one. Just type in debt. D, yeah, and it'll, it'll give you like the, the characteristics. It don't tell you too much about them, but it says uh, 2 Samuel 23 and 8. These be the names of the mighty man whom David had, all right, the the chat the Tachmanite that sat in the seat chief among the captains. So basically these are Jakes from different regions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the scattered, it's basically it's the scattered Israelites, man. Alright, it says the same was Adano, the uh Esnite, he lifted up spear against eight hundred men whom he slew. After at, uh, him, Eleazar, son of uh, Dodo, the Ahohite. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? All of these different japes, and they're from different uh, lands, man. Which is symbolic, ultimately, of the Israelites being scattered amongst the nations, but, but brought back. That's the tabernacle of David being rebuilt. We're Israelites, but where are we from? Different. We're not from yeah. Jerusalem, man. We weren't born. We're foreign, you know? Right. Same thing with David's mighty men, okay? Uh, 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 Uriah the Hittite. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. They were different jakes from different regions, man. Strangers to the common world. Strangers, yeah. It talks about it in Ephesians, too. 
Yep. 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 So get uh you got that with debt? Nah, I can't. Nah, it won't pull up in mine. Yeah, it's right here. Second Samuel. Hold up. Well, <clears throat> but this is uh I got it real quick. This is uh first Samuel twenty two and uh one. David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave of Adullam, and when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither with him to him, and everyone that was in distress, and everyone that was in debt, and everyone that was discontented themselves unto him and he became a captain over them and they were with him around 400 men man so they were in debt <laughs> they were stressed out what you look at they were discontent because yep. they supported david so they were getting persecuted by saul you know on the run you know making it work on the fly those were the men who came and followed david man and it's the same thing with us we're in debt yep. we're discontented right you know you know, the, the, the mad, you know, angry, vexed, mm -hmm. you know. Crying out to the Lord. But we're crying out to the Lord. Yep. Though we're in this filthy flesh, hey, we we want the mercies of David. That's right. Because the mercies of David is what? Not not getting what you fully deserve, man. Right. That's right. <laughs> man. And Esau, he wants us to be blamed. That's why he's setting up all of these different, you know, he wants us to, but there's no blame in the elect. We basically getting a pardon. We getting right. a pardon, man. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Where we at? Luke real quick. Luke 1 and 33. And it shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. Right. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Right. So read that part. Read up again that throne uh, of David part. And then read through it. 32. Luke 1 and 32. He shall be 31. And, he, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahweh mm -hmm. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord of power shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. Mm -hmm. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there shall no there shall be no end. So the kingdom that's going to be eternal is going to be the throne of David, man. Forever. Forever. That's right. That's the beginning of, that's Jacob. That's really the tabernacle of David. Jacob, man. man. The house of Jezal is always the house of Jacob, the house of David. Right, right, right. Mm, yeah, yeah, you see, yeah. all those twelve tribes, right. all those twelve tribes, that house. right, right, because all twelve tribes came together and acknowledged David as king, man. Okay, okay. That's right. And then there was Solomon who had forty years of peace, and then the kingdom ripped. See, we haven't had a kingdom since then. Nope. You know, the I'm next, scared. right, the kingdom that the Lord is going to set up is going to be all twelve tribes gathering back under Yahweh. That's right. To fulfill the throne of David, and at the head of it, under Yahweh Shai, is going to be David, yep. the head disciple. Yep. When, you, when you read Revelation 21, it gives you the order. <laughs> it gives you the order of how the Lord will set up the new Jerusalem, man. But anyway, it was there, I got yeah. Psalms 50. Yep, yep, go ahead. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 50, and uh, let's start up a little bit. It says, uh, verse uh, 16, it says, But unto the wicked the Most High saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Right. It says the wicked, even when you when you show favor to him, he don't do right. Right. Bro, here it is. The, 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 the chosen people of the Bible are ruling. But look look at the filth, bro. Right, right, right. Look at the filth that, that that they're responsible of going throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Pink city, yuck, yuck, just just yuck. nasty, bro. That's right. Porn everywhere, porn a click at the click of a button everywhere. It's just everywhere you look. It's Coach just pig. yeah. <laughs> I mean, none of the movies are geared towards the if, if the real if we rule the earth right now. Do you realize how many biblical movies will be coming out, man? <laughs> man, the dark age movies about the dark ages. Yeah. You know, Jake with the you know with the with the fake perm on and shit, acting you know. Did you blaspheme the name? You know, <laughs> you know the, the, the the dark. You know, Jake was ruling in the you know the, the old English. You know, speaking in that. You know, we would do all of that, man. But this man, he don't promote the image of Yahweh. As a matter of fact, get Revelation the thirteenth chapter, man. Yeah. You haven't ruled. You hear it is you got the Bible in your courtroom. Right, your president's swearing on the Bible, but then as soon as they get in, they rebel. 
Right. So who the hell are you to sit up there and declare the, the say you the chosen man? Get out of here. Go ahead. Thirteen to one. Revelation thirteen to one. That's thirteen. No, nah, like uh, like six. He blasphemed the angels. He blasphemed. Oh yeah, yeah, con. You know? Revelation thirteen to six, and they opened his mouth. And blaspheme against the Most High, right? To blaspheme His name right. and His tabernacle, right? You blaspheme His name and His house and His house, His tabernacle, which are the Israelites. Mm. You blasphemed us using pseudoscience. You promoted us as three fifths of a human being, right? Go ahead. And them that dwell in heaven. Then you blaspheme the angels. Wow. Here it is. You tell pe people when they think of the UFOs or the the chariots, they associated with a big eye. Nigga walking off the spaceship with some looking like Scotty Pippen mixed with the fucking Tasmanian devil, man. <laughs> with some Converse on. That's sad. Like, nigga, you come all the way from Mars and you got some Converse on? Looking like Pippen. But this is the this Wait, is the foolishness. Gonna... Yeah. This, this is the folly that Esau's push. Yeah, good, brother. Yeah. The angels are a serious thing, man. <laughs> Go ahead. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Right. Yep. And to overcome all and to of the overcome nations, them, man. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And power was given to him over all kindreds. So everything you got was given unto you, Jack. That's right. Which means this is a borrowed rulership. Right. Because you got to hand it back over. You're living on that's borrowed time. Time. That's Oh, man, that's just. It's yep. a lease. Yep. 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 Right. Yep. It's a lease. Hey, but you were blessed. Oh, See, the Heavenly Father's fair. Right, right, right. He saw, he got, he, he balled out. Yeah. Teeth was yellow. No, he didn't wipe his ass. He just ruined. He didn't do nothing. He just ruined the earth, man. It's a complete madman. Go ahead. Kind of, uh, back in the book of Psalms, chapter 50, and uh, verse 16, it says, But unto the wicked, the most high saith, What hast thou to do? To declare my statutes, mm -hmm. or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Right. Seeing thou had hatest instruction and right. casteth my words behind you. You hate instruction. Right. right. And we don't even have to get into it, man. Look at the world, man. Look at what Biden's doing. Right. Right. Give him time. He he. What <laughs> when he gonna do something for so called black? Give him time. Yeah, but he ain't time. waste no time. All right. Your your daughter at the race racing a, a, a man. Go, kid, go, Tanisha, go, get him. This nigga come from the back of the... <laughs> Beat your daughter ass in the race, man. Cross her over on the court. You go to watch your daughter play basketball. This nigga there. Putting your daughter shot on the backboard. Ow! <laughs> Catching alley-oops and shit. Yeah. They ain't wasting no time for that. Right. Yeah, pow, slapping the ball hard as hell, man. Screaming, you know. He's all about transformer empowerment, man. Yeah. Transformer power. Yeah, you don't, you hate instruction. Right, that's right. He put the righteousness of the Most High behind him, man. Yeah. I can bring out this quick precept. Uh, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1 and verse 4. It says, Therefore the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. Mm. And this is plain, man. It's plain that that's what's taking place upon the earth, man. Right, right, right. That, they, that they don't uh, abide by the righteousness of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. You know? They live by their they, they live by their own, uh, you know, uh, governance, if I, if I, if I say. Exactly you know? right. They create their own laws, man. Right. In Congress, man. Right. I got a quick Isaiah chapter 24. <clears throat> Isaiah 24, I'm going to start in verse, verse 5. It says, the earth, well, I'll start at 4. It says, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. And in Proverbs 29 and 2, uh, when the uh, wicked bear rule of people mourn, but when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, man. And in this current uh, day and age, okay, everybody's broke, depressed, through. You can't, fast food, even a fast food place is running out, shut down, no water, <laughs> no electricity the whole right. week. When McDonald's shut down, it's a oh, problem. It's right. a problem, bro. It says, verse 5, uh, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, mm -hmm. changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. That's the problem, sin, mm -hmm. wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. You see, Esau now, you know, well, humanity is, is on the decline, and 
you know, uh, uh, we're going to go into the DNA and fix it and this. Well, the true problem is sin. That's the only way this thing is going to, that's the only way we're going to be brought back to perfection, man. Right. Where we at? Come. Uh, back in the book of Psalms, chapter 50, and uh, I'll read 17 again. It says, the laws are needed, bro. Yes, sir. The law is love. Right. Everybody talking about love. We're the only ones talking about true love. Mm -hmm. True love is allowing a catfish to be a, a catfish, man. Right. You're not eat it. Let him clean the water. God. That's love. Yeah. You don't eat a starfish. No, that's, that's Eating <laughs> seal, like you don't do that. <laughs> Eating crabs. You let those things do what the heavenly Father intended them to do, and you will see progress in the earth. That's love. Right. No, not committing adultery. You realize how much happiness that leads to mm. when you're not when, no, when there's no adultery. Man, bro. You know, yeah. the law is love, man. That's right. The land sabbaths, you know. Yeah. All that. Treat how to treat the earth. All of that is fulfilled in the law. Right, that's right. Okay. First John chapter five verse three. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments. Right. And His commandments are not grievous. Right. His commandments are not grievous, but to a wicked man, exactly. The commandments and righteousness is grievous. That's right. Well, here it is. You, He died on the cross for you to just do whatever the hell you want to do. <laughs> we ain't under the the the, the law. Yeah. Now we're not under any covenant right now, but the law. Well, you gonna tell me that the the the, the heavenly council ain't shouldn't be considered in how you run your life? <laughs> right. Right. You you the law. What the heavenly Father said in diet and how we should be, we shouldn't let, try to meet that expectation. This come from the heavens, right. and you gonna tell people we don't need to keep the, we don't need to follow that no more. Right. That's wicked as hell, man. Hey, the law is holy, man. Go ahead. I was going to say, uh, that's why your host Shai said, you know, to be, be a perfect. I got it right here. Matthew 5 and 48. Be a therefore perfect, even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. You know? So we're supposed to strive for that perfection. We're supposed to strive, man. You got to, hey, we got to keep the laws. Right. Now, we're not saved by that. Right. But if you believe in your Yahweh and Yahshua, your intent should be to do what's right, man. Right. That should be your goal. But we understand we can't fully do that in this this uh system that's why we need mercy right it's just rehearsal. Right. Right. right the mercies of david because d technically according to the law david should have been put to death right mm -hmm. we want that mercy man go ahead psalms 50 and 17 it says seeing thou hatest instruction and captures my words behind thee when thou sawest a thief then thou can consentus right to consent with right him you consent with thieves thieves and pedophiles and wicked people are running free all around the planet Earth, man. Doing evil. You do evil, you can make it, man. You sell out. We was watching, we brothers was talking about Black Messiah. Mm -hmm. This man has done wickedness on levels that you can't even fathom. Man. Right. And then he's able, a movie can come out about it. Nobody went to jail. Nobody paid for that. Right. Nobody, they did all of this wickedness. You can watch 12 Years of Slave. That actually happened. And nobody pays for it, right? Right. But in the Holy Scriptures, man, there's a reckoning coming, man. Go ahead. That's right. And has been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Mm -hmm. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Pseudoscience. Darwinism. Go and look at these theories that basically trying to justify that you're a, a wild beast right that can be treated any old type of way it's written in the science you're wondering why it's happening well it's written in the science it's no longer racism it's science it's fact it's backed up by science that you are a degenerate and should die mm -hmm. and they give you a culture they feed you a culture and you start to mimic what they want you to be, and then they can point you out, label you, and, and it's a perpetual cycle of destruction, man. That's why this right here is big. We're separating from his way. That hurts. When you don't have your woman mind no more, that's when you're like, man, you know, <laughs> you got, you know, Esau had Israel's mind. But now we turn it back, a remnant to, to, to our true husband, Okay, when we got to go through the, the mediator, okay, to get there, but now he's hurt. Go ahead. 
kind of uh, back in Psalms 50, verse 21, and the point it says, These things hast thou done, and I kept silent. Thou tough, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, right? But I will reprove thee <laughs> and set them in order before thine eyes. Y'all, you yeah. thought that the most high, you you got you so proud, you believe the Lord is what it's some more. Kind. It's some more because what's a, yeah. what's gonna be an end that the Lord is doing that? He's gonna he's setting us in order before your eyes, okay? And now you're on a decline. Now don't think that this devil ain't in straits too. Like he's doing all of this wickedness, he but he's in straits. Yeah, he's, he's worried. worried. Yep. He's he's like shit. How you a trillion? How you got all of this gold and then you worried about us? You think in the kingdom of heaven we're gonna be worried about a pack of Edomites raising up and going out <laughs> three corners and preaching? Hell no. That shows you you don't have a full security over the earth. Go ahead. Verse 22, now consider this, yea, that forgot the most high Yahweh, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Mm -hmm. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, mm -hmm. will I show the salvation of Yahweh. And that's happening through his word going out. All right, somebody else? That's me. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 13 and 15, that which has been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and the most high required that which is past. Mm -hmm. right. Break it down to Well, so you're not gonna get away with the things that you thought were a right. long time ago. Right. You know, the most high is gonna gonna judge you. Right. You see that that judgment uh culminating now. And that's why Esau Edom really doesn't have any power because he's warm within himself. Right. Try to hold capitalist capitalist versus uh, socialism is, is, is on the uh, right on the brink of uh, causing World War Three. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. right. They're divided. Right, mm -hmm. they're kingdom divided. That's one of the things that's becoming more and more clear. Even with Texas, all right, uh, trying to be its own independent power within the whole Babylon and Great Texas. You know, they have a sort of like of an independence. That's why, like, when they were trying to do the shutdown, the Texas Edomites was like, we're not shutting shit down. It was sort of like a fight. All those shit was shut down eventually. But here in Texas, you know, like, they have uh, the, the, their own energy grid or something like that. They do. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. It's deregulated out right. here. Yeah. So now the, these, the, the elite, like, nah, nigga, you got to get with us. Yeah, the feds will You got to, within this reset, this is what we all going to do. So you see these devils are uh, fighting up against one another, which is a, a, a prophecy. You see? Go ahead. I actually got that. Yeah. Uh, St. Mark, Dr. Shah, St. Mark 3 and 25, it says, And if a house be divided against mm -hmm. itself, that house cannot stand. Mm -hmm. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, mm -hmm. he cannot stand but hath an end. Right. Right, so get that so shall the, the tongues fall upon themselves. Psalm 60. Psalm 60. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the one I was looking for. Yeah, it happened to, happen to us as well. Yeah. So if it happened to Israel, you know they're gonna, uh, Esau not going to last. Right. That's right. how I broke up the, the northern and southern kingdom after King Solomon. Right. 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 So and, that, and that's what happened to us. We start, the, the northern kingdom started going after the golden yeah. calves and the yeah. gods and war. Mm -hmm. So the same thing with Esau. They're Esau uses kingdom. that as a war tactic against us still. But they have a term called what divide and conquer. You know what I'm saying? They keep us arguing and bickering because right. they can infiltrate and, 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 and keep us in, and, and keep the, us under their control. Right. That's why he's going to reap what he sold. He sold right. this quarter amongst us, so right. now he's reaping it. Right. That's right. And he still got shit he got to pay for as king. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he ain't he ain't paid for shit, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, man, this judgment is getting ready to be epic, man. Right. Yeah. Like Apostle Tahar said, he's trying to research his way out of slavery. You can't do it. <laughs> That's why he be looking up so much, because he's trying to figure out a way to trick himself into saying, I'm right. Right. He's always trying to find yeah. that loophole. Yeah. 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 Part of that sorcery, too. Yeah. That knowledge. Yeah. yeah. That he utilizes to convert the truth. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A lot of you so-called niggas, I'm sorry, but a lot of you so-called niggas, Latino and Native American, will be caught up in that just because he's using you really as pawns uh, for a war that's really going on between them, between two ideologies. Right, right. right. Alluding to a, a beautiful point 
we can allude to is uh, Antifa versus uh, BLM. Right. Yep. Yep. Man. Wait, I know Antifa versus uh, uh, Trump. Or Trump. Man. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you know, Antifa and he BLM pretty much the same thing. Then. Right. Well, right. Well, it's funny because when you see Antifa out there, they're they're spray painting BLM, but there's no black so-called black people out there. Right. Right. So right. What the general they pushing? You right. Research Antifa, they they are socialists. Right. Right. And the ideology of socialism is is, is ramping up. Mm. Hey, on a macro scale, NATO and the EU. Right. You had Britain, what was called what the Brexit. Mm -hmm. They left the European Union, man, and that's gonna be big too, right. because a lot of America's allies they gonna come up against this place too. But them, yeah. these are all Edomite nations, right? right. You know that right. Are, are divided right now. We're gonna you know? get Daniel the second chapter. That's exactly right. what I was thinking. Of. That's yep. the spirit. Yep. Okay. I got that Psalm sixty-four and eight. Yep. Go ahead. Psalm sixty-four and eight. So shall they make. Right. 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 Go up. Go up. Go up. Okay. I started uh it paints a picture, man. Come on. Go ahead. I started at verse five. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. Right. They commune of laying snares privately. Right, and that's what they're doing. They're laying snares, man. Through what the uh, brother was just talking about. The, now they're able to label you. Now they got this thing where they they're hardcore about coming up against white supremacists. Now these white supremacist groups are pissed off with the elites. A lot of them. All right, but what are they going to use that to do? Ultimately, they're going to use that to say we got to get rid of white supremacist groups and black supremacist groups. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to be able to link the behavior of the white supremacist group to just a Jake out on the street corner cry, crying about oppression. Right. Yeah. yeah. You got sellout niggas. Right. Uh, uh, with, uh, posing with fucking guns. Right. For uh, vice. Right. Right. You right. know, they right. haven't got them uh, 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 ad campaigns. Right. Right. Yep. Of toxic masculinity. Right, right, right. <laughs> Tripping. You know? Tripping. So Esau's going to use all of that. They tried to link the Panthers and Fred Hampton to this group of white uh, Edomites called the Weather Underground. Jeez. Go back and listen to uh, Fred Hampton interviews. They was asking him about that particular group. Oh. I think this guy Bill Ayers, that uh, Barack Hussein Obama, right. he, like, like he's cool with and stuff. Yeah. He was a part of this group, look it up, called the Weather Underground. But this was a lot of Edomites, you know, basically they was labeled as the Mexican terrorists. And they was basically trying to link them along with the Panthers all together. Right. Just radicals. Right. You know? Right. That's so it's the same play. Esau right. has the same plays, man. Right, 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 right. He calls him the accuser of thy brethren. Right. Right. Mm. right. Esau, Edom is Tom Brady and the spirit just calling plays, man. Just calling plays. Right. This whole right. playbook. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same plays. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Ain't nothing new under the sun. He's not going to stop. He can't stop, won't stop. And he's getting ready to, and now they're linking, you know, this old conspiracy theorist to domestic terrorism, <laughs> to people who are spreading the disease or conspiracy. They're, they're bugged out. They're, it's crazy, they're losing it. Because this word is getting to them. Go ahead. Come. It says, they commune of laying snares privately. They mm -hmm. say, who shall see them? Right, who shall see them? But we see them. That's right. Here it is. They have the meetings at the Bilderberg and all of these different, and we're telling you what they're saying in the meeting. They leave the meeting, they looking at the video like, how the fuck they know? <laughs> you know? Because literally, when you really watch what's been happening, we've told them what they're going to do. Right. Mm -hmm. For years, start with the apostles and elders, literally, we've spoke into existence what these Edomites have done, and they've done it to a T. Right. <laughs> they're moving as we speak. As, as we, we speak. speak. That's right. You're subject to the word of Yahweh right. Shai. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 7, uh, Psalm 64 and 6, excuse me. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. He knows. He, be, he is to everything. Go ahead. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Heart is deep to a point where they're trying to go into DNA. Change the whole code. Man, they growing fake chicken eggs. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga tripping. Go ahead. But the Most High shall shoot, shall shoot, excuse me, shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Right. And which one of the ways he's going to do that? Go ahead. So shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Woo! All that see them shall flee away. Right. So now all everything about them is really on the, on the forefront. Mm -hmm. Pedophile rings, everything is just coming out nonstop, and then he's using them to bring it out. He's using other Edomites. Right. Who did the best videos against the whole C-19? Edomites. Edomites. 
<laughs> like to Zariah, he said, y'all, y'all, y'all listening to and, and, and eat them, uh, so either they're the devil or they're telling the truth. Well, <laughs> some of them are coming out telling the truth. You don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Yeah. But yeah. that's a part of prophecy. Literally, they're going to be coming out with stuff that's going to expose the true agenda, man. But then the elite let some of that stuff happen so that they can label people who like the videos and, and do wickedness, but ultimately it's still truth coming out on their ass. Exactly. They're still going to lose. They're going to lose. I got one real quick. Go ahead. Jeremiah 13 and 25. This is that lot that goes with the brother the boss has got to read about their tongues shall fall upon them. Jeremiah 13, 25. This is that lot, the portion of thy measures from me, saith the Lord. Right. So this is coming from your how about some Bible shot, man. Right. Uh, because thou hast forgotten me and trusted in falsehood. So you went into your own pseudo signs and forgot that there was the most high. Man. He's in control of you, bro. Right. So with that being said, therefore what I discovered thy skirt upon thy face that thy shame may appear. So that's how we know right. we're not in the Bilderberg group physically. It, it right here says it all, man. Right. It's a spiritual thing, man. Right, right. right. We are the spiritual right. Bilderbergers. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. We're, the, we're the true light and light ones. Light ones. They come to we're the true uh, uh, illuminated, of light, ones. illuminated ones, man. Yeah. Because the, your light has been found out to actually be wickedness, man. Right. You ran, you've ran the earth in utter and complete error, man. So now your counsel is being found out through the word of Yahweh Bashim Shah. You're hurt. Right. Yeah. I got some. Go ahead. Isaiah 47 and 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Right. Oh. Thou hast said, none seeth me. None seeth me. That was what they thrived on, secrecy. Mm -hmm. Now it's a nigga at the barbershop, give me a number 32 with no tooth. And he'll talk about the Illuminati all day. Man. Break that shit all the way down. The hand signs. <laughs> Dude, with the leather jacket and the greasy, shiny face, that Jake, <laughs> Daryl, <laughs> he'll break the whole thing down, man. All right, now everybody knows that a, a, a small percentage of evil, wicked people do wickedness to the masses, man. People know that now. Yep. Even everyday white people see it. Yeah, right. But see, now they're like, the weird, this struggle is between me and we, right. it's us right. against the right. bankers. No, 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 because years ago when you had your little piece of the pie, you were kicking me in the ass, <laughs> hanging me from trees. You see, but now that, that, that they're getting to, to the nitty gritty of what they want to do, you're finding out they don't. Your elites don't give a shit about you. Two right. time loose. They got left out the right. deal, basically. Right. So now <laughs> you're on the internet crying, making videos. You know, we're going to the video and using it to make videos and say this is the scripture. Disgruntled right. Edomites are doing videos, bringing out truth on the elite and what's going on, and we're going and looking at it. So they were set up for us too. <laughs> you're still an Edomite, yep. but you're just mad, and I would be mad too. Because you're supposed to share the blessing. Right, right. But Amalek pretty much hoarded everything to themselves, and everybody else was pretty much, you know? <laughs> Go ahead. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. Mm. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside He thinks he's the mm. most high. I am. He took it to I am. Mm. When the most high established himself, I am that I am. Yeah. Esau said, no, I am. And he's trying to redo everything, man. Creation itself. He wants to redo it. I can do a better job. He want to remix the creation. Right. right. That What's better than paradise? You want to enhance what the most high already made perfect. What's better than paradise? That's what that's what he came to Eve with. That's another this way. Paradise. Yeah. I got a better way. Here it is, you got paradise yeah. sitting in front of you, and you're gonna go off and find some other philosophy to get into. Right. It's a plan B. Shout out to Eve. Right. <laughs> yeah. Man. That's a dirty name. And now you wonder why all these storms and everything right. is happening to you, man. Right. Right. Oh, okay, come yeah. on. Come on. Verse 11, therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, <laughs> and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. We're not going to be able to put it, it's not going to stop. See, the elite going to start doing stuff, but then the Heavenly Father go put the head of angels counteracted and more is going to be like, oh, right, shit. Right, right. Multiply. Man. Yeah, opening up shit you ain't supposed to. Portals. Portals. Yeah, I mean, you can talk about that too. Yeah. 
Yep. He's got Joe Bart, Joe Button on his podcast. They was talking about like, do you believe in portals and all of that? Yeah. yeah. So Jake, yeah. Joe Obama yeah. There's a spiritual realm, bro. Esau's trying to tap into it yeah. through artificial means. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He ain't ready for all of that. <laughs> One time, the Lord showed him a tekel. Tekel, yeah. uh, going back to ancient Babylon. Teki, mm. teki, tekel, middle, you know, you farsen, your yeah. kingdom has been numbered and weighed in the balance, and pretty much you threw. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. He showed them that, man. Mm. Could you imagine that? You fucking with the portal and you just tekel. Oh, man. man, you see that hand right Right. There. Finished, so you're finished. You went too far. The cracker has gone too far. Black dynamite. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, right? Which thou shalt not know. And you got, you got uh, the Lord has sent the ice storm, this, this destroying uh, uh, displacement. Crowds. Uh, but they say 45 percent of wheat been destroyed with this right. this this current winter storm. Yes, right. Sir. So more crops are being cut off. The, right. the staff of bread is being cut off. This place is done. It's famine, done. Famine, right. famine, 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 like you need. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and also Man. a lot of these restaurants and water shortages. Yeah. Yeah. Famine doesn't really necessarily produce. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, Family in itself, or uh, drought itself, doesn't produce, you know, social unrest. But when you add on tension or violence, yeah. then you got a problem. Yeah. Well, then you got people out there that starving because resources are being cut off right. and things of that nature. Every time you, you listen, you, you read about the judgment of, of Yahweh Bashim and Asher, it always comes in pairs. Mm -hmm. To say, I was seeing uh, plagues, I was seeing right. famine, yes. I was seeing uh, violence. Why is that? Because there's going to be certain events that he's going to put together in which that judgment is going to be catastrophic. Mm -hmm. Case in point, uh, what happened in 70 AD? It talks about that in, in, in Matthew 24 uh, chapter. Um, Pray not your flight is in, is in the winter. <clears throat> what happened? It was in the winter. And what happened? Uh, uh, what also happened? Nah. The supplies were cut off. Yeah. So people got desperate, man. Trying to starve us out, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. people eating children and everything, man. They got their bag. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But uh, it was it was it was it was current events at that time that was basically maneuvered for the will behind by Shadow Head. Right. You know? Excellent point. That's right. 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 Yep. Yeah. 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 Isaiah 47 and 12. And this is a manufactured famine too. Man, I believe that too. You know, because pretty much when you when when you when it's all said and done. Your, your way to get food is going to be through elite right. grip. They're going to have a grip on it. Ration. All right? It's going to be rationed. You, yeah. You're going to have to go to this location. And then before that, you're going to be Maxine. You will have that grip with the and, chip. And, 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 and chip. <laughs> chippy. All right? Yeah. You know, all right? The yeah, chippy C D. C murder. <laughs> C murder. Yeah. All right. C murder. That's what we want to call it. <laughs> chip. C murder. All right. C murder on that ass. And murder. That's, you're gonna have to go through that system. It's gonna be cashless, but the, you, the, the, that's what the elite are doing. If you pretty much look at it, they're buying up all of the land, right. they're hoarding all of the resources to themselves to where there's no middle class. And the people on the bottom, when it's all said and done, are gonna have to go through this system in order to live. Okay, and it's the, that's the reset. Go ahead. Isaiah 47 and 12, stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorcerers, right. wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. Right, and see, he's calling on these different gods, and he's not getting the same response. That's why you see a lot of celebrity sacrifice going on. They trying to ult ultimately get, you know, stop the inevitable. See, people who are satanic, you're gonna start to see more and more satanic behavior. Those are sacrifices. When the dude, what's his name, little Nye, put on the titties, Oh, that's yeah, a sacrifice six, yeah, for six. Satan on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. These are enchantments being thrown up. You know? Everything he puts in the news is it's all enchantments. What he's trying to do and formulate and put, you know, the men of the Lord out there as terrorists, it is, it's an enchantment. But see what the Lord is saying, let's see if that enchantment is gonna really work for your ass. Let's see if you're gonna be able to trick the most high. Because his only real, when you really look at Esau and the left-hand period, their only 
chance is that a lie is the truth. That's Esau's only chance. Is the lie true? It's not true. <laughs> That's his only chance. His only chance to win is if a lie is true. If we're really a bunch of terrorists and all of these various, then he wins. It's not true, though. But his only hope is that a lie is true. Our hope is that the truth is true. <laughs> Go ahead. If so, if so be thou shalt be able to profit. Right. If so be thou mayest prevail. Right. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. They're having counsels. They're calling upon these different gods. Hey, Pharaoh did that. At the time where Egypt was all messed up, they gathered in the city. Uh, uh, when Naf was one of them, which is Memphis, basically. Mm. And what would they do? They would get, go there and, you know, call on their different gods. We're trying to work their magic. What can we do to stop this? Hey, at the time that Israel was on their way to uh, uh, get in the land of Canaan, the Moabites tried to cast a, a stumbling block on them. But all pure. Those uh, stum those uh, spirits are being invoked on you, Israelites. That freaky demon. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's being ultimately, look at the music. Look at what's going on. They're ultimately trying to stop the will of Yahweh Bashmi al by labeling you Israelites, putting you out there. But it's not going to work. That's why the scriptures say, except the Lord had blessed up, left us a small remnant, we would have been like Sodom and Gomorrah. There's no enchantment. There's nothing you can do against the Lord's elect. Right. At the end of the day. Go ahead. It says... Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Mm. Behold, they shall be a stubble, the fire shall devour them, or shall burn them. And that show you that's talking about Esau, because it's a stubble. Yep. Yep. It's yep. talking about the, the daughter of Babylon and Esau, because just as you had Egypt, there was the Egyptians who ran it. There were a nation of people who ran Egypt that were judged along with it. Same thing that goes here. Esau runs the modern day Babylon. Okay? It says, uh, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm it, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored. This is, this is a key, this link in over Revelation 18. It says, thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander everyone to his quarter. None shall save thee. That's Revelation 18. Right. We're That's talking about, right. yeah, the merchants are going to be standing up, willing for the torment. Right. You know, we're seeing Babylon, America burn. Right. Yep. You right. know? Right. That's a win. That's it. That's it. The Heavenly Father is going to destroy this place, man. That's right. Man. You got something? Uh, I can if I can make a point yeah. also because the elder had made, a, you know, a point on, uh, on Pharaoh in Egypt. Well, you know, this second exodus that's about to take place is going to be far greater than that, okay? But what, what Pharaoh didn't realize and what Esau Edom doesn't realize is that they're being set up. Right. You know, they're in they're in the most high trick bag at the end of the day. Right. right. You know, so ultimately every move that they're making, you know, with these things, the, the things that are taking place in the world right now, it's all been subscribed or prescribed in the scriptures, right? They don't, they don't realize that they're... That trick bag like I made mention of right all right but I wanted my heart had to see them had to see them. right the Lord had put a slate of snare right. under Esau's in the ultimate snare right now yep, yep. because he ain't stopping like you would think some like you would stop at right. some point if you had all that he had right but the Lord he ain't he ain't created to stop right he's gonna go for he's gonna take it there go ahead and he didn't make the most high his habitation man nope but this is uh, Psalms 52, and uh, I'll start at the top. It says, Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of the Most High endureth continually. Thy tongue deceiveth, but so like it. Verse 2, Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteously. Right. Salah. Look at this education that he teach people, man. His version of history, like... Why are you teaching children this? Bro, they get the same, it's the same class set up. All of this is so-called evolving, but it's the same goddamn setup. The same setup when you was a child is the same setup your child, child was walking into the same played out as. Like, come on, bro. Go ahead. Verse 4, thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. 
the Most High shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. Right. Salah. Right. You're going to be rooted out of the land of the living. Because Jerusalem ultimately was made to be inhabited to forward righteousness, man. Right. Remember uh, Melchizedek, he was the king of what? Salem. Right. And who, who was he? Malak Tav, the king of righteousness, of righteousness. man. Righteousness. Righteousness is going to come out of the city of peace, Jerusalem, man. That's right. God. We're going to usher forth the law, statutes, and commandments, which this world is in need of. And it's going to take a period of a thousand years for people to see that process of the laws being implemented. They're going to see it for a thousand years. Yahweh and the elect are going to set up like the, the order. And the earth is from that point just going to go into paradise. Like it was supposed to be without it. Yeah. That's right. You know, go ahead. I got a quick one. This is a Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 24. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. Woo! And we have broke down that word welfare. It means what? The health. Right. Uh, it was uh, some other things too. Uh, of, of basically of a nation of people. Right. You right. can look it up, Bob Kashat. Somebody can get that well, word okay. welfare. I got to pull it up right now. So the, the health, happiness, and fortunes of a person or group. Health, happiness, and fortunes right. of a personal group. Right. So the elect is going to be over all of that, over the whole nation. Right. You know, over the, all the nations. You oh, know what I'm right. saying? Yep, yep, yep. It says, but the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world, and a wise king is the upholding of the people. And that backs up Proverbs 29 and 2. Right. When the righteous uh, ruler is in authority, loosely right. paraphrasing, people it, the people are going to rejoice, man. Right, 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 because right. even the heathens, they're going to have their own certain plots and lots of land. Right, right, they're right. going to have to still keep the law. The law right. is going to still be right. in full effect mode. Right. Too, That's going to be the upholding because right. we're going to be keeping the laws perfectly, man. Right, right. That's why everything is going to run like a well-oiled machine. It's going to be paradise. Right. Paradise. You know? Beautiful. Right. And they're gonna, there's going to come a point after that a thousand years, they're going to be programmed like they ain't gonna be, they ain't gonna have the laws written in them. But as soon as we come around or when they hear of it, they go, "Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah. I got to get in order." Right. This is the way, you know. They don't like it, you know. They're oh, gonna, yeah. they're gonna yeah. say, they, they're gonna covet to to be like us. Right. You know. Or like we was talking about earlier, we are gonna have our own so called heart program if they don't oh, come oh, yeah, up. Yeah. Hey, yeah, gonna, you know, we hey, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna it's gonna rain. Yeah, it's we gonna can be get a, that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're yeah. so called engineer right. drop. Right. And uh, Revelation eleven. Just like Esau doing here yep. now, yep. you know? Yeah. Yep, in the kingdom of heaven. Can you believe that? In the kingdom of heaven, what Esau's doing? Because all of this is, that's being done on the earth is being done through the left-hand priesthood. That's right. So under the right-hand priesthood, you don't think we're going to have weather modification and things like that to, to plague you heathen when you go off? Yes. That's right. And that's written in the Holy Scriptures. Our, yeah. Yep. I got it right here. Go ahead. Revelation 11 and 6. Uh, it says these have power to shut. Go up, go up. Uh, I started. My two witnesses. Okay, come, come. come. Verse three, and I will give power to my two witnesses, mm -hmm. and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, clothed, clothed in sackcloth. Right, that's the prophets, the northern and southern kingdom. The house of David. The house of David. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the power of the earth. The true priesthood. After the order of Melchizedek, what does the priest uh, represent, man? They're, they're basically the mediators between, you know, the Most High through the High Priest and Shah. That's our access back to that. Access Father. back. That's you know? the mercy seat, really. Yeah. 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 Verse, Go ahead. Verse 5, and if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth mm -hmm. and about their enemies. Right. And if any man will hurt them, he must be in this manner. He must in this manner be killed. Uh-huh. Verse 6, these have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, uh -huh. and have power over waters to turn them to blood, uh -huh. and to smite the earth with all plagues as nope. often as they will. Right, and we got Sir. glimpses of that, wow. you know, with our forefathers in different times, Elijah, yeah. you know, uh, called it not to rain, it was something he did. Moses, the right. son was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right, right. but hey, man, when that power really, man, we're gonna have the, you know, we're gonna be able to, you know, mess people up. Now, what's that in Zechariah? Zechariah It's like start at sixteen. Yeah, okay, sixteen. See what that. Zechariah fourteen and uh, sixteen, and it said, "Come to pass that." Right. Every one that is left of all the nations 
which uh, which came against Jerusalem, right. shall even go up from year to year to worship the king of the Howard right. of hosts, and right? Keep, and to keep the feast of tabernacles, yep. right? It, yep, it, yep. It's right here. And it says, they see that after the nuclear destruction, all of the nations that are left, because we ain't gonna just get beamed up and stay up there forever. We're going to come down. Right. Right. And all of the nations that's left, this is going to be the plan. Now, we know there's a process before it gets to this point. It's going to be that rod of iron. But this is going to be the end all be all right. Right, Chef. Go ahead. And it shall, shall be that whosoever will not come up of all the families of the earth, of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Howard host, even upon them shall be no rain. Oh, you're not coming. Y'all not coming. Right. Okay. <laughs> We got you. We, 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 all right, we got you. No rain. Mm -hmm. Crops dried up. Yep. Hey, we can bring ice. Rough. That's right. Okay. Oh, no, they they rebelling over there. The Elamites. Oh, they rebelling over there. No you, a snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> really cold. Yeah. You know, no call it in up, Hebrew because they gonna have to speak Hebrew too. Yep. Yeah, that's right. You see, but we're gonna have the 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 the, the that type of power on that's the right. on the right hand side, man. That's right. That's right. Righteousness. It's more, I believe. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, and if the family of Egypt go not up, and right. come not, that have no rain, there shall be the plague wherewith the heaven was sent, was smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. Oh, y'all ain't oh, they ain't coming. But what should mean? Because you gotta think they gonna be they gonna be seeing paradise and seeing it. They gonna be like, I'm chilling, man. I don't want to go. Right. Because they ain't gonna have the laws written in them. Right. That's proof, and that's proof the Egyptians, because Jake used Isaiah 19 on Sodnetter TV. Oh, What's man. this infatuation with that nigga going to Sodnetter to handle Israelite business? But he went on there and he used Isaiah 19, the Egyptian, which he don't understand that to say the all of the nations can be saved. Well, right there, it told you that in the kingdom of heaven, if the Egyptians don't come up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles, man, we go play their ass. Oh. <laughs> So so we're hey we hey, get uh Micah the 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 uh fourth chapter. The Lord is gonna establish righteousness in the earth, man. You want verse one? Right, hey, uh real quick, Sirach yeah. ten and one. We'll get that first and then we'll get that in uh Which one you want first? Micah? Sirach, Sirach ten and one. Yeah. I got the Sirach. Sirach ten and one. Right. And a wise judge will instruct his his people. A wise judge will instruct the people. In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to instruct the people. Yeah, the rod of iron, yeah, captivity, but ultimately you're going to be instructed in what's right and what's wrong. That's right. Because you more by you'll eat any goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. And you jakes. Follow suit. You follow suit. Jakes, any niggas eating turtle? Eating pigeons. Right, what's the love? No, pigeons are awful. Well, you can't. Right. Oh, here ain't nothing. They love crab legs and shrimp, man. Pigeons are the same. They're the same as chicken. Right. But you know, it's it's not a preferred, but it's a it's a, you know, it's a, you know you can eat it. Jake think they're on the level talking right. about eating surf and turf, steak right. and shrimp. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right, right. All right, man. Right, All right. right. Where we at? See, right, ten and one. And wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Right, the government of a prudent man is well ordered. A wise judge will instruct his people, mm -hmm. but just like Nimrod, Esau is instructing people to leave off order and to come unto this one world way of rebellion. This is all happening again. That's why the scriptures in Micah call this the land of Nimrod. Go ahead. Verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. Mm. And what manner of men the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Mm. And because he's proud, you have a, a, a world full of proud ass people, man. Right. With no regard of the earth, no regard of life, no regard of order, integrity, integrity no morals, nothing, nothing, man. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a damn, man. <laughs> Everybody yoloing. But there's no fear of the Lord <laughs> right. in, in, the, in the earth as we know it. Right. So there's no wisdom. 
But well, that's fear, that's wisdom. Right. Only the elect. Right. You know? right. That's why scripture said, though, though a nigga shall be on a level, many shall wax cold. A nigga right. is at all the time out here. Right. No one gives a damn. We right. can decide exceedingly yeah. polluted the earth. It's crazy, guys. Right. Right. You, you, you get beat up, the first thing somebody want to do is record it. You bleed on the kind Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They look at the ambulance. Right. <laughs> they, they look at, they yelling out world stars. World star. Right. Okay. World star. Right. Why right. you fucking dizzy? Damn the day on ground. Right. right. You know? Right. That's, that's actually people who got hit one time and they. Well, I'm conscious instead of people helping them. Yeah, you're recording that. Either recording them or just walking over them. Mm -hmm. But a dude lay it out internally. Yeah, you sad, bro. You know, a lot of that shit's going on, man. There's no care. It's only get worse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. And we're the only ones preaching true love. This is uh, Second Edges 9 and 20. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. <laughs> the ways of the people, man, is leading to judgments, man. Man. You know? Sin. Sin. The ways of death is sin. Iniquity. Yep. Shall abound. Iniquity. Yep. 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 Which iniquity is basically sin on top of sin, sin. on top of sin, yep. man. Yep. Yep. It's a free fall effect in America. Right. Do as thou wilt. Right. YOLO. Right. You know, I'm going to do me. Right. That's what everybody tell me. I'm going to live my best life, man. Right. With no regard or any fear of the Heavenly Father. And they're dying. And they're dying. And they're pride. Right, right, right. That's right. <laughs> Most high gonna do him. Right. When it's come yeah. time to judge. Right. Son, you know, Everybody's a savage. Right. Because we ain't gonna just talk forever. We've been talking. There's, now it's come time for the action. Yeah. All right? Okay. Uh, real quick, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and 17. It says, And I counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom, and send thy Holy Spirit from above. For so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed. Mm. And men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom. Yes, so the only way for this world to be turned into good, because look how beautiful to look. Look, beaches, you know. Bro, the earth is made to be enjoyed, bro. Right, right. But now you can't even enjoy it because of what? A wicked ruler, man. You see, uh, uh, finish that in uh, Sirach. Okay, this is back in the book of so it's back in the book of Sirach, chapter ten, verse uh, verse three. It says, "An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited." Through the prudence of them that are in authority. Go ahead. Verse four: The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Woo! So in due time, he's going to set over one that is profitable. And it felt like a long time coming. Yeah. But really, the Lord, you know, this has been a short, you know, the earth ain't that old. Right. But a lot has happened. Yeah. Yep. You know, the earth is close to, you know, 13, 14. Yeah, 14, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, right. Right. Now, Esau science, yeah. what does he say? Billions, trillions, 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 trillions years. years. And you know why he does that? Because ultimately, what he what he's teaching that whole uh, uh, he, what's that? Radio carbonating evolution. 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 We ain't seeing it, right? So he'll he'll say, well, the billions of years ago, so it won't happen in your lifetime, because we've yet to see a monkey, right. you know, come, you know, Travis and Brandon, yeah, you outside of Patrick Ewing. Yeah, that monkey coaching now. No fucking around. But seriously, we haven't seen that. Nah. So what does he say? A billions of years ago. But then he'll tell you Sumeria is the oldest civilization. So if how, how the hell if, if Sumeria is the oldest civilization, how that was only what? Five thousand? Yeah, a years ago? Right. It's confusion. 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 So for billions of years, people were just sitting around. And then six thousand years ago, let's start an empire, man. <laughs> you know what we we'll do? It. Let's do. Let's write this shit down. This caveman shit ain't working. This caveman shit ain't working, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Billions of years. Oh, let's write it. Let's record this shit. We get out of here, man. Cut it out. Testing fossils and shit, man. Like, come that on, shit don't add up, bro. He's a demon, man. Yeah, it's, it's and people will hear that and be like, "What? Right? Billions of years old, and you, you just now wearing Nikes? You look like the land before time, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Coexisting yeah. with pterodactyls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on, yeah. man. Get yeah. out of here, man. You see, you just wearing Nike. You should have moon shoes. Right, right. Shit. Billions of years, bro. Yeah. Come on. Come on. This man is a demon, man. <laughs> 
there is no God. Right, right. Yes, no God. There is no God. There is no right and wrong. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. it's my truth. Right, right, right. right. Subjectivism. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And now no one wants to hear it anymore. The only thing that's making sense is this truth. That's right. right. I got one real quick. Yeah. Psalm 60 and 4. Thou has given a banner to them that fear thee. And uh, Isaiah 13 and 1, it said, lift ye up a banner. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing right now, beginning with the apostles and elders. Right. It said, thou has given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed. See, now the truth is on display. It says, like, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Why? Right. So now everything is happening, man. It's on display right now. Singing because the most out of singing that new song, lifting up the banner in Isaiah 13 and 1 and 2, lifting up a banner against the high the high mountains that represent the governments, man. Mm -hmm. And the top elites. You got something. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh second here to chapter 6, starting verse 27. For evil shall be uh, put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Mm -hmm. As for faith, it shall flourish. Right. Corruption. Faith is flourishing, man. That's right. Bro, his his History, everything he's been saying, now everybody like, nigga, shut up. <laughs> you lied. Everybody tired of tired of eating my talking, man. Every, don't, every, but nobody wants to hear you no more, man. Up, man, bro. Come here. Go ahead. Most high the strong with the brightness of his coming. Right. right. Is right. there wisdom and teaming? <laughs> man, yup, yup, yup. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which had been so long without fruit shall be declared. Woo! Man, perfect. Peace. It's not that the name of the Lord was taken out of the earth, it was just a point where it wasn't being declared. It's still the same name that was told to Moses, Yahweh Shah, the name he was born, that was to, his parents named him something. Mm -hmm. The angel told Mary and his father what? Name him, you're going to name him Yahweh Shah. That, that name is still here. It was just at some point without fruit. But the truth has now been declared through the prophets, man. Right. Coming out here, all right, week in and week out, Hey man, and it's working. Man. This devil is hurt. He's scared. Hey, the scriptures say, uh, get that Jeremiah 50, the king of Babylon had heard the report of him. Oh, I'll get it. I got it. Go ahead. Jeremiah 50 and 43. And the spirit had me turn right to it. The king of Babylon had heard the uh that's that's it? Yeah. Yep. The king of Babylon had heard the report of them, and his hands waxed feeble. Right. The king of Babylon had heard the report of them. But what do you think if J. Edgar Hoover was going crazy like that over uh, 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 Fred Hampton, what do you think they're saying in their councils about us? And what did, what did J. Edgar Hoover say? There will not be another black messiah unless we create him. And they've infiltrated and did all of that wickedness. Now, we know that there may be plants amongst us, but guess what? You're going to lose. The Holy Spirit is going to use you for a particular purpose, but guess what? Ultimately, you're going to be outed, and you're going to be destroyed. There is no uh, uh, infiltrating the elect. At the end of the day, you may be around, but you're going to lose. You know what's powerful? You're going to yeah. lose. And also, the most, what it yeah. says, the most I said, um, yeah. man, man, um, you can speak the truth. Like, uh, you can't convince the gang, Sarah, or something right. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Keep while you being a, 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 a spy, you yeah. can fuck around and be convinced and be, start believing. Oh, a lot of people. Yeah, because yeah. 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 that's the thing about yeah. us. You can't just walk up. And then the next day you in the camp. Nope. You got to dedicate yourself to this thing. So if you are, <laughs> you know, now other camps, they're, they're, we've heard stories where a dude walks up and he's reading like the next week. Now, when we first started out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> who, who knows? But the thing is, if a, if a spy gets in there, he's he going to have to dedicate himself. Right. right. He's going to have to pass a test. And he's going to have to. And what, 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 what ultimately, what is he seeing? Right. What, what what report does he have? We're just going through the scripture now. He may himself do something to try to get the ministry blamed, but ultimately it's all going to backfire. Yes. It's yeah. going to be used for the Lord to really work a miracle for us. Go ahead. You'll even get rebuked on that if you, you try to do some crazy stuff. Right. right. It was in the spirit. So, right. Yeah, and eventually that spirit's <laughs> right. going to be constantly trying. Right. So he's right. going to bet him out or he's going to be convinced. Right. Yes. right. Our testimony, our testimony right. got us covered. But we put it out there. We ain't about these things. So yeah, you can you can try to lie, but like we said, is the lie true? You can try to lie and, and set up a situation, but is it true? Right. Yeah. Right. See, the judge that's coming is going to judge according to truth. You've been able to judge according to your your code and lies also, uh, and forward wickedness, right. but there's going to come a point where a true judge is really going to sort out the matter, man. 
You see, an inquisition is being made of the council of you Edomites, man. And we love it. And you Edomites are losing more than Jake. Mm -hmm. Jake losing, but you everyday Edomites who gloried in Edomite supremacy now finding out you a nigga just like the rest of them. You're losing, man. Hurt, begging. Right. They don't got the flavor like Jake yeah. to get out there and get it yeah. and make a way. Because Jake right. will go get away. Right, right, right. You know? right. Oh, man, I got some favorite questions to that. Uh, Baruch chapter 4, uh, verse 32. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Mm. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Woo. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Like I said, they rejoice in this white supremacy and, and bigging up and, and having a whole party. Now the table was their turn, man. Right. You know, right. Both sides put it on them. Now, like you said, they 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 got complaining more and more. Hurt. They taking L's financially getting smacked. <laughs> you know, getting judged physically. Yeah. Like they yeah. at all aspects. Right. Both sides turn their ass on the ball now. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Jake getting it, but he saw it. Big woman saw. coming up against him. Jake used to it too. Yeah. So, yeah. They like, just like yeah. another day in the walk in the park. Exactly. Right. You know, he's right. seeing a whole new ball game. Right. Yeah. That's right. You're, you're real irritated right now. Yeah. That boy hurt. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. I got him. Got him. I think he's reading. He got him. fifty. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah 15 and 43. The king of Babylon has heard the report of them, and his hands wax feeble. Anguish took hold of him, right. and, and pains as a as of a woman in travail. Right, right. So he, he's hurt. He's trembling. So he's going to try to send spies. He's going to try to do all. He's going to try to do. Hey, but guess what? Hey, he's hurt. He's scared. The fact that you got all of this gold sitting somewhere, you're worried about us, lets us know that we're winning. Right. You got control of the planet. That's, right. That's, you worried about some men that's in debt. Yeah. <laughs> that's, right. That's prophecy. That's you no know, stick to prophecy. Right. That's Revelation 11. Right. 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 And, and, and we're seeing some of that Ezekiel 37. Right. We get that. We got that breath and rising up. Fear is falling upon right. our nations. Right. 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 They right. know what's coming. Right. The true testimony is the biggest threat to this fugitive. The most I take a man on a lower level to confound the highest, bro. Yep. That's crazy, man. Yep. That's the glory of the Lord. That's the yeah, legacy. Yeah, call the Lord, you know, call that's the, Lord. Lord. the legacy of the sons of God is with a small amount of something that looks feeble, work wonders, man. And confound the mighty things, man. Yeah, it ain't gonna be no close win like like a diehard with Bruce Lewis all bloody and shot up. It's gonna be a complete steam, bro. Oh yeah. The most out of size to make his move. Oh, we'll get uh Psalms ninety eight and one. And then somebody get that one, break their teeth. <laughs> Hold up. I get it. Somebody get Psalms 98 and 1. It's going to be a first round knockout. Mm -hmm. Psalms 98 and, 98 and 1. Right. <laughs> Say night phone load. Say. <laughs> yeah. Psalm 9 and 1. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath dealt marvelously, they have done marvelously things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. Woo! First Man. round knockout. His right hand and his holy arm. Like Deontay Wilder, he hit somebody with that right hand. Yeah. And he'd get on, you know, but the, the most high got the biggest right hand ever. Really? It's gonna move mountains. <laughs> His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. Now, this is Psalms 58 and 6. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O, your, o Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run into. So he, the right hand will break the teeth. And what was the Roman Empire described as? Great iron teeth, man. Dragon. That, that army, that military. Now, this revival of the Roman Empire, they've got even more. They got technology. They got miracles on the left hand side. And the Heavenly Father's going to send his son back in the right hand. It's going to pow! Yeah, that's right. It's going to be the perfect. Hey, get that in uh, Isaiah 47. It shall come up on thee in its perfection. A perfectly timed right hook straight. I don't know how the Lord going to throw it, but it may be a straight. It's gonna come to the perfect technique. Oh my goodness! Perfect form, power, technique. Smite them hard ass toes. 
Hey, Daniel, the second chapter. That great millstone, he says, it's going to smite them, yeah, them so hard ass toes, so man. Break just think about a carnal level when somebody knocks somebody out with two punches. Yeah, one punch. punch. Yeah. Like, God dang. One punch. One punch. Somebody knock your tooth out. <laughs> so no, no, on a spiritual scale, just think about the heavenly father. Breaking the high power, man. This is the highest, the highest throwing something. Let me read that again. Psalms fifty-eight and six. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Because that's that power. Yeah. Right. A lion's uh, power is his teeth. Right. 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 You know, able to, to bite pressure. down, able to basically suffocate for a different animal, crush it, another animal's uh, uh, throat. Mm -hmm. you know, the most side, through his mind, he's going to break, he's going to dest uh, destroy your weapons, man. That's why I said, we, uh, you know, it gives a kind of a, a clear cut understanding of what's going to be going on in the latter days is when your house shall return. Right. There's going to be war going on. And in, in the midst of war, they're going to turn from war, war one war another and, and try to fight against your house. Right. As right. you said in the second verse of the 13th yeah. chapter. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And when he, do, he does that, guess what? The most high is going to devour him, man. man. Can I get a real quick one? Just to back up what I said. And you can break it down. Second Ezra uh, 13 and, and 37. And this, my son, shall rebuke the wicked and vicious of those nations, which for their wicked life are falling in, into the tempest, and shall lay before them their evil thoughts. Mm. And the torments wherewith they shall begin to be tormented, which are like unto a flame, and he shall destroy them without labor by the law mm. which is like unto fire. Mm. He gonna, he, he, the most high is going to destroy them with fire, man. You see what I'm saying? With, with, with uh, uh, precision. Right. You will. Right. By very, the very precise. Right. You don't have to hit hard when you're fighting, but if you're precise, you'll knock somebody out. Right. If right. somebody doesn't see that punch, well, how much more so for uh, the inhabitants of the earth? Right. They don't see it. They don't see it coming. So when most high crack them clouds and, and he starts to storm, bro, it's going to be crazy. Man. In the midst of them war. Right, right. Ultimate club punch. And it's going to be out of your control. The most high going to come out like, that's it, that's up, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Stop the bullshit. <laughs> but you shit your ass. <laughs> I told your ass, you going to be proud, son. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You're going to go ahead and kick everybody's ass, it's man. It's and it's going to be very, uh, 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 very uh, strategic, man. Man. Yep. That, that's why when your parents, you play oh. around, you, and all of a sudden your, your parents storm in that room, get yep. whooping that ass. Yeah. Yep. Caught off guard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Caught off guard. Yep. That's it. Now get that in Isaiah 47. It says, I got you. they shall come upon thee in a perfection. Isaiah 47 and 9, but these two things shall come to thee. In read, read, read up above that. What that say? Uh, it says, uh, I start at verse uh, 6. I start at 7. And thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever. Mm. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Right, and the Lord describes Babylon as a whore who just doing all sorts of wickedness and thinks she's just going to get away. Never, can't be checked. You know? Now is the time for her ass to be called out. Go ahead. Neither didst remember the latter end of it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, here now this. Esau didn't remember the latter end. Remember Lamech? Cain killed seven... Uh, uh, Cain killed, I'll kill more and get away with it even more and more. 70 times over. And he never thought, what, what if one day I get judged for this shit? No, right. Throwing, when you talk about feeding Jake to alligators, raping your grandma in front of the grandpa, run a train on your grandma in front of you, bro, and come take your wife, make the, 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 the boy lay with his mother. That's where the term motherfucker come from. He would make the little boy lay with his mom, bro. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's endless. The earth. What, is, what about what he's done to the earth, to the animals? animals yeah, you know? man. I saw the video you did, bro. That was crazy, bro. Yeah. Oh, man, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. do gotta go, bro. You gotta go. Go, go ahead. Shit. It says, therefore, hear now this, thou thou that are given to pleasures, mm -hmm. that dwellest carelessly, that says in thine heart, I am, and none else besides me, Right. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall mm -hmm. I know the loss of children. Right. 
But these two things, verse 9, shall come to thee in a moment in one day. Mm -hmm. The loss of children mm -hmm. and widowhood, mm -hmm. they shall come upon thee in their perfection. Woo! In their perfection. See? Mm -hmm. This going to happen right when it needs to happen. That's why he got by, he got these people doing this so that when the judgment comes, it's going to be right on time. So, yeah, we mad at what's happening. You got the, 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 the people, the... What do we call them? The, the, the alphabet, you know, in places of power. Let it happen. It's, a, it's supposed to happen. For the purpose of that judgment coming forth. That's what's being prepared. People are being proud. Scoffers are scoffing for the purpose of judgment. Everybody is getting set up to be put in a position of what judgment they receive. That's right. That's what's happening in the planet Earth. And everybody's been exposed for what they really are. And if you haven't seen that the man of sin has been revealed, you in the wrong. You 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 need to go back to you through. If you can't see that the man of sin is being revealed, you crazy, man. Where are we at? I was holding that mic before. I don't know if you still want to. Yep, read that. Yep. Okay, yep. Kind of from the top? Yeah, we can. All right. This is a book of Micah, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, uh, But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains. Mm -hmm. And we know that, uh, you know, the mountains represent governments. It says, uh, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. Mm -hmm. And many nations shall come and say, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the Most High, mm -hmm. of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, mm -hmm. and we will walk in his paths. For the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. That's right. Right. Yeah. That's what's going to happen in the kingdom. The law, right, which this, this world ain't pushing the laws, man. You can go anywhere and commit sin right now, mm -hmm. openly. You can eat. You can go somewhere and order <coughs> a whole pack of oysters. Nothing's open, but I bet you somewhere to the see people. some damn abominations is open. Right. Right. Yeah. right. You see? Go ahead. So in the kingdom of heaven... That's what the Lord is planning on doing. He's going to destroy Babylon the Great, and he's going to set up a righteous kingdom. Right. And this is what's going to happen. The laws are going to be the standard of the earth. Right. And that's fair, man. That's right. See, you hear that the Christian could tell somebody they're going to hell, right. but we can't tell them that we're going to order you or we're going to, hey, you're going to be beat over the head with a rod of iron, but ultimately we're going to order the earth all right under right. Yahweh. Right. right. That's fair. Right. And necessary. And necessary. We're executing what's in your best interest. Right. <laughs> saviors. Exactly. Under Yahweh Shah, the elect are ultimately the saviors, the superman of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. The world needs this message. It's through this message that everything is going to be all right. That's right. Now, yeah, it comes with an ass kicking, but once we get Esau out of the way, you will be better off than you are in the, uh, w w uh, this man's system. Right. Really? Losing with them suits on. Yeah. Yeah. Elamites are right. Nasty yeah, you Elamites are losing your God. All these scams. You heathen just really you need guidance, man. Right. But then Jake is put at the forefront as this is the worst. Now Jake is a, 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 a piece of shit. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Jake is, but the heathen are even worse. Yeah. Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. Scammers. Big time. I seen a, 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 a small documentary of Elamites oh, that yeah. bred some walk some, some rotten vegetables, mm -hmm. wash them hoes, spray them hoes, spray paint them hoes, and then sell them hoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To their own people, though. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You gonna spray paint yeah. capitalist like. Yep. 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 Yeah. Uh, Some vegetables though. Right. Sleeping in a temple with rats, then they come over here. This my cousin. And that's your doctor. Yeah. Dr. Rats. Patel. This is yeah. yeah, the same nigga that's talking about you can wash your hands. Right. <laughs> yeah, sleep, sleep, these people sleep with they rape children, but then they get on the TV and tell you what's the best interest for your health. Right, right. Be yeah, fat, be fat as shit too. Yeah. Yeah. Super musty, man. <laughs> yeah, like what's wrong with you? But the heathen have lifted up their head in these latter days, man. Go ahead. Kind of verse three, and he shall judge among many people, 
and rebuke strong nations afar off. That's what Yahweh is coming to do. You nations are going to get rebuked. It ain't going to be no joint rulership to where it's going to be the throne of David, but then Moab got eternal life and he's sitting on the throne telling people what to know. Hell no. You nations are going to be rebuked. Yahweh Shai, when, and even in Revelation 19, it said he's going to smite the heathen with his tongue. And we're going to judge by the law, man. That's right. So could you imagine the heathen, we get we get beamed up. I don't know how my, how long are we going to be up there right. getting crowned and before we come down. But do you could you imagine what they're going to be like when we come down? They're going to be like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be with it, man. Just say so, so far beyond all that they imagined. Right, right, right. Yep, yep. They gonna be like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Now I see this coming. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Back in the middle of verse three, it says, "And they shall beat their swords into plowshares." Right. To, to all, all we're gonna burn all of your weapons because we're gonna disarm you. It ain't like you would be able to take us down anyway. But it's no need. Right. In the kingdom of heaven, we're not gonna need weapons. Right. We're not gonna have a gun in the kingdom of heaven. This was my. This was the first gun. It's sitting in a big, you know, uh, cube. You know, and you go and your kid. Oh, that was a gun. As soon as I got this message, I knew I had to strap it. Right, <laughs> like the trigger got no heart. <laughs> we have a nuclear missile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look, this was the missile. This case, no, we are gonna burn all of that. We are gonna get rid of all that whole enterprise. Is gonna be done away with cigarettes. You ain't gonna be able. It's not gonna be an enterprise for cigarettes. Mm. Now, tobacco is a natural thing in the earth. Use it properly, yeah. right? But if you use it properly, but but we ain't gonna use it to be smoking no damn cigarettes. Ain't and snuff and shit. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> this, this man, he gotta go. That was his legacy, really. The sword. That's why I say that. All of them swords are gonna be burnt up. It talks about that in Ezekiel. That go back to Cain. That was the first nigga to really make weapon. He was blessed with the sword. Right. right. So that legacy is going to be buried, man. Heck was singing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to be buried. Oh, right. <laughs> we get in the kingdom of heaven. Kids running up to Michael Jordan. Wow. You scored 89 points. You just No. All of that shit stops here. The legacy yeah. of that's over with. We going to be the men who did righteousness and stuff. We're going to be the ones people are going to be looking up to under your Shai. Go ahead. That's right. It says uh, in the middle of verse 3, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation, mm -hmm. neither shall they learn war anymore. Right. There ain't going to be no World War Four. Right. You know, where now Esau comes back, you know. Or, 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 or them goots to my, they got next. Right, right. Yes. Right. right. No. right. Shut up, nigga! You know, <laughs> you take down the kingdom of heaven. No. Moab, Mo you know, oh and Chinese food, set up Chinese, take, tear down paradise yeah. and set up, and then dragons marching. No. Marching through the streets, <laughs> New Year, the dragon. No, man. None of y'all heathen will ever rule again. The final government is the government of Yahweh Bashim The throne of David. Nothing comes after that. And y'all mad because it's us. Like, that's what they were really mad about. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, and we're going to rule. It's going to be classy, too. Niggas. See, a lot of people get messed up behind what we say because they look at how Esau ruled. Right. That's, yeah. You see what I'm saying? We ain't going to rule like that, nigga, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 4, but they shall sit every man under his vine and mm -hmm. under his fig tree. Right. And none shall make them afraid. Right. So when, when the kingdom of heaven is finally set up, and that goes back to an ancient custom. Where people would sit under fig trees. I forget what it, how it goes. Shaar knows it, but ultimately everybody's gonna be good when it's all said and done. Even the heathen will be like, you go over here, you go over there. Somebody got told it 13 and 11. You go over here, all right, you're gonna and, and we all gonna watch Esau. You gotta think that feast after that a thousand year, all of the heathen gotta watch that. Once we get rid of them, and that's gonna be the step of the, the now we this is it, we good. You know, they're going to be like, we we, go, we we cannot fuck with these people, man. <laughs> Never come up against these people. We got to get it together. Go ahead. You said Toby 13 and 11? Yep. Many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord. Start, start, start at uh, 10. Kind. Toby 13 and 10. Give praise to the Lord, mm -hmm. for he is good. 
and praise the everlasting king. Right. That his tabernacle may be builded in thee again with joy. Woo! And let him make joyful there in thee. Right, the tabernacle of David, baby. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Those that are captives and love in thee forever. Right. Those that are miserable. Right, right. Why, that's us. That's us. The house of David, discontented right. and debt. You know, read that part again. liberty to the captives. Right, read, read that captives. part again. Uh, verse 10, it says, Give praise to the Lord for he is good. And praise to the everlasting king that his tabernacle may be builded in thee again with joy. And let him make a joyful there in thee those that are captives. Right. And love in thee forever those that are miserable. Woo! Go ahead. Many nations shall come far to the name of the Lord power. Right. With gifts in their hands. With gifts in their hands. So the heathen, they're going to pay tribute. Right. Just like Sheba did to Just Solomon. Just like Sheba did to Solomon. Yep. Oh, a matter of fact, it says that in Psalm 72, they're going to do it again. Right. Mm. <laughs> Under Yahweh Go ahead. Even gifts to the kingdom of heaven. All generations shall praise thee with great joy. Mm -hmm. Cursed are all they which hate thee, and blessed shall all be which love thee forever. Right. So mm -hmm. if you bless us, you're going to be blessed. Right. If you follow our ways, you're going to be, you're going to, hey, you're going to be all right. Mm hmm and Solomon, when you read about his kingdom, he dealt righteously with the heathen. Mm -hmm. It's just that he went far and started worshiping so, that. But Yahweh ain't going to do that. No. And Yahweh was dealing, I mean, Solomon saying, you know, was dealing with the higher ups. Hiram. Hiram was a billionaire, bro. Yeah. Hiram was balling. Sheba, yeah. balling. You know? But in the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be over on a, on a even deeper level man Solomon got that rich bro with a section of the earth so imagine the whole earth go ahead we'll continue on yeah verse 13 it says rejoice and be glad for the children of the just for they shall be gathered together and right. shall bless the Lord of the just oh blessed are they which love thee mm -hmm. they shall rejoice in thy peace mm -hmm. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges, mm -hmm. for they shall rejoice for thee mm -hmm. when they have seen all thy glory and shall be glad forever. Right, because the heathen, they're going to have to acknowledge that they've been lied. It says that in uh, Jeremiah 16, the Gentiles shall say we have inherited lies, man. Mm -hmm. And they're going to start to take our side. Wow. Mm -hmm. And eventually they're going to love us, man. Like, these, you know? Once they see what we do under Yahweh Shai to the earth, man, they're going to be like, you know? Finally. Finally. You know? Crazy. Everything is going to look, you know? Mm -hmm. What's, what's that? Why? Is, that's fair. Right, right. Go ahead. Isaiah 2 and uh, 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, to the house of the Most High of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, mm -hmm. and we will walk in his path. That's going to be a mindset in the earth at some point. Mm -hmm. Let us go to the mountain. Let us go, you know. The Rosh Hashanah, that right. teaching of peace. I was going to say this whole time has been, you know, us following after the ways of the heathen, but right. it's going to be reversed in right. the kingdom. It's going to be reversed, you know. Right, it's yep. supposed to be according to Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Right. It was supposed yep. to be that beacon. Right. And we're gonna lend to them when they need the, they're gonna need loans. We're gonna be fair. fair. And we're gonna be fair. Now yeah. you can put usury on the heathen, yeah. but we're not gonna do it in wickedness, man. They're gonna pay tribute, though. They're gonna pay tribute. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna have certain things wherever lot like right. they're given. Right. That's gonna yield substance and right. they're gonna bring it up to us. Right. We're we'll gonna get the best of it. Trade right. with them like Esau does now. Right. right. Yeah, right. The best. We're gonna get the best. Top notch. It's gonna be fair, man. Top choice. It's going to be fair. It's going to be beautiful, man. The earth needs this, man. I, can, I want to see it, man. I want to partake in setting it up. Man. Yeah, Cleaning the water. You may be, you know, certain brothers, it may be certain things you you going to specialize in helping get back right. Music. We all love music. We got to get music back right. We got to get the right frequency back right within the whole, the, the instruments and everything, man. We're going to take part in that. Changing the whole world. 
back to righteousness, man. It's gonna change yeah. the climate, everything. Right. No more ketchup and mustard. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh man. But it's not far fetched though, because the world been so jacked up. That's why Proverbs twenty nine two. Right. Yeah, when yeah. the righteous on throw it, the people gonna rejoice. Right. right. When the wicked bears, will the people mourn? Right. The world right. is jacked, and jacked everybody up. is tired. Right. And he saw us in control of all right. of these yeah. things that we're complaining about. But once, right. once they see that how we right. fix everything, they was like, oh shit, y'all fuck it, hey, y'all yeah. got it, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And they're going to acknowledge with the seed of the Lord. Go ahead. They're going to be like, that's the same people we used to clap our hands at. Right. Like, of lamentation. Right. Right. So right. Right. Yeah. 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 That's going to make them come in extra lowly and humble when they yeah. come in our presence. Like, damn. Clap them. Right. Right. Shit. Yeah. 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 Uh, but the finished off, it says, for out of Zion shall go forth the law. Right. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Uh, he shall judge among the heathen, he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people. And that shall beat their swords in the plowshares, and their spears in the pruning hooks. Right. The nation shall not lift their sword in his nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Right. So, Isaiah 61 and 9. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Right. Isaiah 61 and 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which Yahweh have blessed. Isaiah 61. Yep. Yep. Nice. Yep. Uh, I was gonna say that's Isaiah, the gospel. So, so I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now you got to go. It's Isaiah uh, 14 and 1. Before Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined unto them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right. And that's speaking of that large multitude clinging unto Yahweh shining 144,000, because that's going to be the order. All right? right, and when you look up that word "strangers," it goes to Gar, which Moses' son, who was born in a foreign land, was Garsham. So that's speaking of Israelites clinging, you know, because it's going to be an order. Yahushai, the first fruits, and under them, that's a sacrifice. Yahushai, the one forty-four, that's the sacrifice that's going to lead to everything being, you know. And then you're going to have those who the Lord have mercy on. They're going to cleave to that house. Ball out. We're going to have a good old time, too. Go ahead. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Mm -hmm. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for service and handmaids. Right. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. Right. And they shall rule over their oppression. And Jake, when they hear that, we go, we get with them. That'll make us just like them. Shut your ass up. Right. We ain't going to rule like Esau. That's, we're going to have servants in class. See, the heathen have sex slaves. We're going to have concubines, but we ain't going to have no woman locked up somewhere in bleeding <laughs> closet. Oh, no. Closet. Yeah. Tied up. Yeah. Shackles, uh, shackles and sliding the tray to why, her. Why would you want to lay with a woman that's bleeding and musty and stank just right. sitting somewhere? No. They're going to have to bathe in the oils yeah, for you, just, you know? Yeah, yeah all that. There ain't going to be no low level rulership. We're going to rule with class here. It's called the oh, women are gonna have hey. uh, uh, maid servants and all of that. Ain't gonna be no skin so salt products. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. right. What, what that other story? Right. Right. It was bed, bath, and beyond. Bed, bath, and beyond. beyond. Yeah, you walk by the nigga woman and she smell like a uh, uh, bath and body works. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like you still wearing work. that shit. Bitch is still wearing iron. Yeah, yeah, don't wear that, man. It's, it's gonna be a process. It's, it's just gonna like wearing the iron. Everything's, so. everything's so quick now. So, a woman jump in, take a five minute shower, and throw on some you know, Cinderella. Yeah, take a cowboy shower, then come lay down with you. Right. But, but, but we, got, we got all eternity. So, you're gonna, you gonna take that year off to bathe in the oil and go through that process. We got all the time in the world. We got that time in the issue. See, now he said, we'll wash off in the shower. Right. Yeah, keep it going. Right. 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 take a cowboy shower, go lay with your ass. Like everything is all good. Right. You gotta have clean. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. We gotta get out of here. Bro. That's, that's nasty, bro. And they be mad to do that. Bro. Complain, yeah. Right. Did I gotta get in the shower here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's more like Kim Trail than outside. Right. He's more like Kim Trail than outside. 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 <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Oh, go, man. Go, bro. Oh, 14 so miles of traffic. Man. Right, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. more like varsity. Now in the in the kingdom, you're gonna be you gonna be you gonna be uh bathing in the oils. Like the women are gonna be safer. Man, a lot safer. A lot safer than you are in this kingdom. You hear this at nine o'clock at night. You got a Chicago Bears 
uh, it's cold as hell. You got the Chicago Bears skull cap on, pumping gas. You're vulnerable, man. Texting, O O M W. Texting at the game. Look for the lose, man. The kingdom of heaven. Every woman. All right. First of all, they're going. To, the children are going to be raised with two parents. All right, and the and the men have multiple wives. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of problems. Right, it's good. Yeah. Think, think about how much, how many families have been separated just because a man wants some pussy. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Well, keep and, and every single person that you, every single man that you got with, he cheated on you. Right. And you're trying to figure out what's wrong. Well, he just want. Well, right. one, you are crazy. Right. But two, he just wants some more blocks. Yeah. And you need to accept right. that. That right. you'll never be uh, enough physically. Right. And it's way more women than right. men. And here it is, right. we the men of the Lord. The hey, the Lord, we're coming back to our husband, right? Hey, the Lord may be, the brother may be speaking the spirit on him. We don't get jealous. Yeah. Let, let him he get his, yeah, he always speaking. <laughs> the Lord, hey, he dealing with 144,000 yeah. men that he like as the bride. If he put the spirit on him, oh, let that man right. win. You, gotta let him cook. you get jealous. We, yeah. Here it is, we got to come under order and, and, and come. Hey, but we ain't going to even go there. You know, we ain't gonna even get get on the woman thing because at the end of the day, it's all about this. We gonna see. Hey, Kevin we Samuels, the spirit, he's live right now. The title of his video, Kevin Samuels, it says, "Modern women can't survive without men." Woo! So that's just the spirit, right. and he's that's true. Live right now, see, that's true. When people listen, they hear that and they get mad, but it's true. You you, you get mad at nature. Nature, this is, right? How the fuck you get mad at nature? Right. This is supposed to that like. No, no. Go ahead. Wait, were you good? No, because because uh, they're surfing. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you well. should not surely die. Right. Ah, ah, yeah. Right. God, right. he swallowed it down. Like, what did he show her? I can't wait to see the movie. What did he come mm -hmm. with? Women worship. To to really get her to say, "Damn, you right, serpent." You know that picture? Right. Hey, you know that picture man had the globe on his back bound down right, the right, 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 You probably right. showed her that picture? <laughs> you got a whole right, world. Right. You got a whole world. It's the bee, man. Adam can hold it up for you. Right. Mm -hmm. Cross the foot. All right. Where we at? Get a few more, you know. Oh, man. Yeah. I can get one more in uh, yep. Micah 4. Yep. I'll reverse 4 again. And, and we, uh, we didn't have no set plan. We just turned, really, we just turned the camera on, man. So everything was through the spirit tonight. That's right. <laughs> you know, heavy judgments going, hey, call her lawyer, how about Chanel Shai? So coming through on his word. They yeah. coming through. This this is the only thing making sense. Yep, that's right. You know, go ahead. Con, uh, back in Micah chapter 4 and verse 4, it says, but they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken it, for all people will walk Everyone in the name of his power. And that that's speaking of, he's basically saying now. Right. Until that happens, everybody go walk in the name of their God. Go ahead. And we will walk in the name of the Lord, right. Yahweh, our power right. forever and ever. Right, forever and ever, man. That's what we're going to stand on and wait till you see what it leads to. It's going to lead to what this chapter is talking about. The first dominion, man, to where e eternal life and righteousness is going to finally see the earth, man. So... We'll leave it there, man. Um, anybody else got anything else? Some points. Uh, we'll give all praise to Yahweh. Hashem, Hashem, Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom. 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 He showed her that she's a PhD. <laughs> Sir, he probably showed her a Cadillac, you know? Yes, yeah, I'm simple. <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> yeah, that's what Kevin Samuel.